Hi there, and welcome to the cat adoption room here at the SPCA in Martinsville. I'm Chase Inman, and I'm standing with the lovely Catherine Gupton. Who are you uh, spending a little time with today, Catherine? Today we have Zoe. She is approximately a year to a year, half old. She just got spayed uh, yesterday, so she is ready to go. She came in with some kittens uh, mm -hmm. who have all pretty much since been adopted, so she is the only one left. She's a real sweet girl, as you can see. She's very calm, mm -hmm. um, likes likes attention. She's a little bit jumpy today because she's still coming off of the medicine for when she went and got spayed. <laughs> but the fact that she's just laying there and letting you hold her, even though she has just experienced <laughs> going through surgery and she's just kind of calm and reserved, this would probably be a really great lap kitty for, for maybe an elderly family or a family that's um, just starting in kitty land and they mm -hmm. want a, a calmer cat. This would be a great kitty for her and she's beautiful. She would not be a good uh, kitty for a family with children because she okay. is a little bit shy and a little bit reserved mm -hmm. So if she's around children, she needs children that are um, Used to handling kitties <laughs> Well, thank you Catherine and thank you kitty for being so beautiful on the camera This week's top dog is our sweet siren and um, she has been looking for a foster family. She is heartworm positive uh, which is a condition where she actually has worms inside of her heart and she definitely needs to have surgery to take care of those. But the heartworm treatment is uh, pretty invasive and it does take a while for her to recover after the treatment. So she does need a foster family. So we are desperately seeking a family for Siren. So if you're interested in fostering her, uh, give us a call 638-7297. Or if you are interested in helping us with Siren's treatment, it's a very costly uh, treatment to send them through. Uh, it costs anywhere from $600 to $800 generally, so we are looking for extra funding to help us with that. Uh, also, the SPCA will be helping out Martinsville City Animal Control, and once we do that, we are going to need fosters especially during that time so that we can make sure that we're able to bring over those animals from Animal Control Facility. So if anybody's interested in starting on that foster program, definitely give us a call, 638-7297. There's always exciting stuff going on at the SPCA, that's for sure. You can definitely check out our website, spcamhc.org, to see all of the wonderful events that we have coming up. A couple of the events that we have coming up are uh, the Halloween Fright Mares event, which is a haunted house. It's going to be at 20 East Church Street during Oktoberfest. We're going to have G-rated, R-rated, and loose cannon showings for all those adults who like to be super scared. Uh, this event is going to be October 6th. These shows start at 11, and they'll go until we can't go any longer. Um, also, during Oktoberfest, will be the last day of our yard sale, which is the Bark and Bargain sale. Uh, we're going to start that the Thursday before Oktoberfest and we'll end that on Oktoberfest and that's going to be at the Holt building and we'll have all kinds of great goodies from the Fido's Finds and Kitty's Collectibles thrift store that's uptown as well so we'll move some of our secret items out to the Holt building during that time and have those available for the yard sale. Also, for all you race fans, you might want to come by the SPCA and check out what we've got going on too. We are going to be having a raffle for some great seats. It's a suite, Suite 47 at the Speedway during the race, and it's going to be the entire race weekend. And you can go and actually have the uh, meals there and be in those box seats and um, experience sweet life. So $25 for those raffle tickets. Uh, come down to the SPCA for more information about that. 132 Joseph Martin Highway in Martinsville.